pre-diabetes. What is it and why should you care? Just as the name indicates, pre-diabetes uh, is a warning sign. Uh, diabetes can cause a host of complications. It basically impacts all the tissues in the body. It can cause eye damage, nerve damage, uh, kidney damage, amputations, it can also lead to stroke and heart attack. Pancreas makes an essential hormone, insulin, uh, and the role of insulin is to bring the blood sugar levels down. Diabetes mellitus. Type 1 indicates insulin deficiency, while type 2 indicates insulin resistance. Um, and type 2 is the more uh, common version. About 30 million Americans are affected by it. Uh, that would be about 10% of our population is affected by it. Insulin resistance is a term that indicates that your insulin is not working well enough to bring your blood sugar levels down. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Just having a little problems, keeping my sugar under control. So have, uh, have you been checking your sugars? Yes, yes. So insulin resistance is the main reason patients develop type 2 diabetes. Risk factors include... Obesity, gestational diabetes, um, lack of exercise, um, diet rich in carbohydrates, uh, all these predispose to prediabetes. No sweetened drinks. Like that's, that's an important one because my patients, like the first thing I tell them, stop the sodas, stop right. the sugary beverages. And that and sometimes I've seen like patients, the prediabetes can actually just get better by doing that. Depression link. So it's still not clear whether depression precedes or succeeds diabetes, but we see a close association between diabetes and depression. Testing sugar levels. There are several tests to uh, determine if a patient has prediabetes or diabetes. The most important ones are fasting blood glucose, uh, hemoglobin A1c, and oral glucose tolerance test. When the results for the tests come in, we are able to classify patients into normal, pre-diabetes and diabetes category. The progression from pre-diabetes to diabetes is variable and depends on a lot of factors. So some people can remain uh, in pre-diabetes for a long time while others can progress fairly quickly. Children are at risk of diabetes and pre-diabetes for the same risk factors as adults. So if children gain weight, um, they are predisposed to diabetes and insulin resistance. I love working in this area and I think it's important to note that diabetes is preventable.